morning. It is day 29 today and we're gonna have a chilled day, hopefully making the kitchen unit in the back of the van. As you can see, our setup at the moment is pretty basic, uh, but we have three main things to think about, which is the gas being secure, our gas cooker top and water storage. Yeah, I've made a few sketches, but again, they're not to scale and we're just gonna go with the flow on this one for once instead of being extra organized. We've managed to sort ourselves some more free pallets, so that would be the basis of the wood to keep it all in keeping and relatively cheap. Today we're just going to be focusing on stripping these pallets down and making a start on the cooker storage unit. A few spots of rain turn into a hailstorm, seeking refuge now in the van. We have now dissected our pallets and we've probably got enough wood complete the project hopefully so we're moving on to measuring up and figuring out what's what. We're using the wood from the bed left over so we're just going to get a gauge of what we're working with. There's parts where we need to keep the gas bottle because it's best to strap it up there so let's see what we can create now. As we said before going out without much of a plan really and just seeing what happens what's the worst that could happen eh? We were just starting to make quite good progress and again the weather has turned quite severely. <laughs> For the one millionth time today it's stopped raining, the sun has come back out so we're going to quickly cut our first measurement that will uh, be the very beginning of our um, unit. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've now cut six uprights all to the same size which will rest the work surface on top of. <laughs> Knees, uh, that is not the work surface we'll be using. not the work surface, this is just a wee guide. For the work surface I'd quite like to go to the reclamation yard and see what kind of stuff they got there just to give something a little bit different, a little bit quirky. You can't really tell at the moment but the cooker is going to be incorporated underneath this uh, shelf hopefully and we're going to concoct some sort of clever way of getting out and making it usable. Um, Hopefully lift up, but you will see from the designs I've already thought. Yeah, this. as we said earlier, this is kind of on the fly. Um, we're just designing this as we go. Um, it's quite exciting really. It is. So I think today this is where it's going to finish. We've got the all six uprights made and we kind of know where we're going but it's the end of the day today we've got to tidy up the mess that we have made because it's back to work tomorrow. Roll on day 30 which I'm really excited to finish this project now. Thank you very much as always for watching the video if you've got this far hopefully you're enjoying our progress we uh, we certainly are now we're just seeming ahead and recently we just passed 300 subscribers which is uh, more than we ever thought we'd really yeah. get so thank you very much thank you each and every one of you follow us on our social medias twitter at vw underscore flora and on instagram vw underscore flora yeah we've got loads of cool things in the pipeline like we've said before we've got a long way to go really but we are getting ever closer to the finish line really happy with it so far yeah <clears throat> It's quite exciting this piece, I'm really, really keen to finish it. We've learned a lot, we're a lot more confident, like we're putting this together a lot quicker than we did the first bits of furniture we did. And the bed. And I think it's going to be potentially the best we've made 
big words. Big words. Very big words. Thank you. So once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.